For most families, learning that their child needs a stoma can be very frightening. Parents and children require training on the proper use of an ostomy pouch and the supplies necessary for good stoma care. This video will show you how to empty, remove, and apply an ostomy pouch. There are different types of stomas and their location on the abdomen can vary. However, the techniques are the same. For example, a colostomy can be of the ascending, transverse, or descending colon. The type can be end colostomy, loop colostomy, or colostomy with a mucous fistula or Hartman's pouch. Small bowel stomas can be an ileostomy, jejunostomy, or duodenostomy. There are a variety of ostomy products available. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions for your products and consult your provider for any concerns or questions about your child's stoma. Pouching systems may be one-piece or two-piece. Two-piece systems can have either an adhesive or snap attachment to the skin barrier. The skin barrier can be pre-cut, cut to fit, or moldable by the user. Some skin barriers have a starter hole, others do not. Most skin barriers are flat, some are convex. Some pouches have air filters. Some of the filters need to be covered during a shower or bath because you cannot get them wet. The tail closures vary and can be separate from or a part of the pouch itself. Adhesive removers are helpful when you take off the pouching system. Some contain alcohol. Others are alcohol free. Mineral oil can be substituted for commercial adhesive removers. Avoid using wipes with irritating agents. Do not use soaps that leave a film or residue on the skin that can keep the skin barrier from sticking. The use of paste, paste strips, or adhesive rings are optional. These products improve adhesion or fill in skin defects which can result in an uneven pouching surface. Stoma powder is helpful when the skin around the stoma is irritated. Protective skin barrier films are optional and can be helpful when the skin around the stoma is irritated. Some contain alcohol, others are alcohol free. There are various types of deodorants that can be placed in the pouch. Their use is optional. All optional products may be used in combination or alone depending upon your child's needs. The type and location of your child's stoma may vary from this example, and the type of pouching system you are using may be different from those presented in this video. However, the principles discussed are the same for all pouching systems. We will begin with an infant mannequin to show the steps using a two-piece pouch. First, wash your hands and get all the supplies ready before you begin. Measure the stoma size with the template that comes with your pouching supplies or use one that you make yourself. After the stoma is one to two months old, measuring will only be necessary if the size or shape of the stoma changes. Place the template or pattern over the skin barrier and carefully outline the pattern using a permanent marker. Next, carefully cut out the opening while staying within the cutting area. Once you've cut out the opening, use your fingers to smooth out the skin barrier to remove any rough edges. Allow one eighth of an inch of space between the stoma and the skin barrier. Sometimes the skin around the stoma can become irritated. If this occurs, use the stoma powder sparingly over the irritated skin. Brush the excess off of the intact skin. Stoma powder can be used alone or under a barrier film for additional protection. 
A barrier film can be applied alone or over stoma powder to prevent or treat irritated skin. It can be applied as a spray or a swab. Allow one minute to dry. If you are using paste on your infant's stoma, fill a syringe with a small amount and put it down for use later. Warm the skin barrier in your hands. This will make a better seal with the skin. Carefully peel off the skin barrier's protective covering and apply the paste closely around the opening that you cut out for the stoma. For infants, apply the tube by using a syringe. For older children, apply the paste directly from the tube. Gently place the skin barrier over the stoma, sticky side down, with the paste side touching the skin. Use your fingers to press the seal against the skin. When this is in place, remove any protective paper, if present, from around the adhesive collar and press your fingers around the skin barrier to encourage a good seal. If the stoma is near a second stoma or mucous fistula, trim the skin barrier to fit around the stoma so it will lay flat on the skin. Apply a tail closure or fold up the end of the self-sealing pouch. If you desire, add a deodorant. Peel off the protective covering from the pouch. Center it over the stoma and skin barrier and press against the skin barrier to form a good seal. A traditional two-piece coupling snaps in place. If you're using a one-piece pouch, this step will not be necessary. Wash your hands. A bath or shower can be taken with or without the ostomy pouch in place. Water may loosen the skin barrier and the pouch may need to be replaced after bathing. Now, please return to the DVD menu and select Infant, Child, or Teenager to see how to use your child's ostomy system.